Could Tesla's robo-taxi concept make personal car ownership a relic of the past? With urban car ownership costs averaging over $9,500 annually, the stakes are high. As Tesla gears up to unveil its dedicated robo-taxi on October 10, 2024, the debate about the future of transportation is heating up. In many urban areas, the cost of owning a personal vehicle can be prohibitively high often exceeding $9,500 annually in the U.S. when factoring in expenses like insurance, maintenance, fuel, and parking. As urban living becomes more congested, these costs are likely to rise further. How are individuals adapting to these financial pressures? With increasing insurance rates and vehicle values, many are reevaluating the feasibility of car ownership in favor of more economical alternatives. Robo-taxis offer a compelling solution with costs estimated at around 30 cents per mile, compared to $2.50 for traditional rideshare services. Could this significant cost difference make robo-taxis the preferred option for daily commutes and errands? Additionally, the potential for shared rides could lead to even greater savings, making robo-taxis an attractive choice as urban areas become more crowded and parking options dwindle. Will this shift in transportation preferences encourage a broader acceptance of shared mobility solutions? The economic model surrounding robo-taxis also offers enticing financial prospects for vehicle owners. Companies like Tesla have proposed that individuals can purchase a robo-taxi and then utilize it to generate income during times when they're not using it. For instance, Projections suggest that a single robo-taxi could earn approximately $30,000 annually in fares, assuming a utilization rate of around 50%. This kind of revenue generation could significantly offset the initial investment in the vehicle and its operating costs. This shift towards a shared economy model means that instead of personal ownership, people may opt to invest in robo-taxis as a source of passive income. For example, if a robo-taxi is utilized for about 12 hours a day, operating in a bustling urban area, it could generate a steady stream of revenue. With the growing acceptance of ride-sharing and car-sharing services, the transition to robo-taxis as a form of income-generating asset seems increasingly viable. Additionally, this model aligns well with the changing attitudes of consumers particularly younger generations who prioritize flexibility and experiences over ownership. As more people recognize the potential to earn money from their robo-taxi, the likelihood of widespread adoption increases, leading to a more sustainable and efficient transportation ecosystem. The economic benefits of owning a robo-taxi could catalyze a significant shift in how we view personal mobility. The trend toward urbanization is significantly reshaping transportation needs, especially among younger demographics. With more than 68% of the world's population projected to live in urban areas by 2050, how will existing transportation infrastructures cope with this immense pressure? Young people facing high living costs in cities are increasingly seeking alternatives to car ownership. Could robo-taxis be the solution they're looking for? Data shows that around 40% of young adults in urban areas prefer shared mobility options valuing access over ownership. As cities grow denser, will the convenience and cost-effectiveness of robo-taxis resonate even more with millennials and Generation Z? City planners are increasingly recognizing the need for innovative transportation solutions. What investments are cities making to support this shift? Many are focusing on smart infrastructure that facilitates the integration of autonomous vehicles, including robo-taxis. By developing dedicated lanes and optimizing traffic signals, could urban areas enhance the adoption of robo-taxi services? This synergy between urbanization and technological advancement suggests that robo-taxis may become a key component of future urban mobility. The success of Tesla's robo-taxi largely depends on achieving full autonomy, classified as Level 5 autonomy. This level signifies that a vehicle can operate independently in any environment without human intervention. Currently, Tesla's full self-driving technology 
is classified as level two, which means it can perform some driving tasks, but still requires driver supervision. Reports indicate that while the FSD can manage tasks like lane changes and highway driving, it still struggles in complex situations, such as navigating through construction zones or dealing with unpredictable pedestrian behavior. Experts in the field of autonomous vehicles predict that achieving level five autonomy may take several more years. According to a study by McKinsey, full autonomy might not be realized until around 2030 or later as significant advancements in artificial intelligence and machine learning are still required. This timeline reflects the challenges of creating a system that can safely interpret and respond to all potential driving scenarios. Additionally, regulatory approvals and public acceptance will play critical roles in determining when fully autonomous vehicles can be deployed on a large scale. Reliability is another major concern. Current estimates suggest that even with advanced technology, the failure rate of autonomous systems in certain environments remains higher than acceptable safety thresholds. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, autonomous vehicles must demonstrate a safety performance that is superior to human drivers before they can be widely accepted. Therefore, ongoing research, rigorous testing, and real-world data collection are essential to ensure that robo-taxis can operate safely and effectively. For robo-taxis to become a mainstream transportation option, substantial advancements in infrastructure are essential. This includes the development of automated charging stations that can handle the demand of a fleet of robo-taxis. According to the International Energy Agency, the number of public charging points for electric vehicles will need to increase significantly to support widespread adoption. Current estimates suggest that by 2030, we may need over 10 million charging stations globally, a substantial increase from the approximately 2.3 million available today. This presents both a challenge and an opportunity for urban planners and private enterprises. Additionally, the regulatory landscape must evolve to accommodate autonomous vehicles. Policymakers will need to establish guidelines that govern the operation of robo-taxis, including safety standards, insurance requirements, and traffic management. A report from the RAND Corporation indicates that many jurisdictions are still in the early stages of formulating regulations that specifically address the nuances of autonomous transportation. As robo-taxis become more prevalent, local governments will need to collaborate with technology companies to create a legal framework that supports innovation while ensuring public safety. Finally, integrating robo-taxis into existing urban transport systems is crucial. Cities will need to rethink traffic management and transportation networks to effectively incorporate autonomous vehicles. This may involve creating dedicated lanes for robo-taxis, optimizing traffic signals for autonomous navigation, and enhancing public transportation systems to work in conjunction with robo-taxi services. Research by the Urban Institute shows that cities that adopt a holistic approach to integrating autonomous vehicles into their transport networks can improve mobility and reduce congestion, paving the way for smoother transitions to a future dominated by robo-taxis. Tesla's transition towards a robo-taxi model marks a significant departure from the traditional automotive business model, which has historically focused on car sales as the primary revenue stream. Instead, Tesla is emphasizing a software-centric approach that prioritizes recurring revenue from ride-hailing services. This shift could fundamentally alter how automotive companies operate and generate profits. According to a report from PwC, the global market for mobility services, including ride-sharing and shared mobility, is expected to grow from $35 billion in 2020 to over $200 billion by 2030. This potential for recurring revenue makes the robo-taxi model highly attractive for companies looking to diversify their income sources. By leveraging advanced software and data analytics, Tesla can continuously improve its services, optimize routes, and enhance customer experiences, thus increasing profitability over time. 
This model aligns with trends in the technology sector, where companies like Apple and Microsoft have successfully shifted towards subscription-based services. As more automakers explore similar avenues, we could see a broader redefinition of the automotive landscape, where vehicles are viewed not just as products, but as platforms for ongoing services. This evolution will likely compel traditional manufacturers to innovate or risk obsolescence in a rapidly changing market. The advent of robo-taxis has the potential to significantly disrupt existing ride-hailing services like Uber and Lyft. With robo-taxis, the need for human drivers is eliminated, leading to lower operational costs and more competitive pricing for consumers. Research suggests that robo-taxis could reduce ride costs to around 30 cents to 50 cents per mile, compared to current rideshare prices that often exceed $2 per mile. This drastic reduction in costs can make robo-taxis an appealing option for consumers, particularly in urban environments where ride-hailing services have already gained popularity. This shift could further accelerate the decline of personal car ownership. A survey by the Pew Research Center found that 59% of urban residents expressed interest in using shared mobility options over owning a car particularly among younger generations who prioritize experiences over possessions. As robo-taxis become more widely available, consumers may increasingly opt for on-demand transportation rather than investing in personal vehicles. This trend could lead to a significant transformation in urban mobility, prompting traditional ride-hailing companies to adapt their business models or risk losing market share to more cost-effective and efficient robo-taxi services. While the potential for Tesla's robo-taxi to disrupt personal car ownership is significant, numerous challenges remain before it can become a reality. The interplay between technological advancements, economic factors, and market dynamics will ultimately determine whether we see a substantial shift away from traditional vehicle ownership in favor of autonomous ride-sharing solutions.